Hello, this is Jake and welcome back to my automotive channel. Today I'm doing a video on the Citroen ZX that we recently picked up. Um, for those of you who missed the video, uh, my partner bought me this car. It's a car I owned previously. Um, I basically owned the ZX and the Rover 416 at the same time. But because we was looking to move, we had to obviously sell one of the cars. And it was both put up for sale and it was the Citroen that sold. And then a week later, I was um, smashed off the road in the 416. And there's the only thing I actually kept off the 416, the wheel trim. So, uh, yeah, it's back. It's not going anywhere. I'm never selling this car. This is a car that will stay in my collection forever. I, I, I have no plans on selling it. So, in this video, I'll go through all the things that need sorting. Major, minor everything like that really so let's go and take a look at the car uh, we are graced with brilliant british weather today so it's kind of raining but it's not but it's really overcast but anyway let's take a look at the car so here it is and the first thing i did with this car the day we got it back the next day after um, because it's so late i got rid of the arbor black window tint um i get why people do window tint but not on a zx why would you do on a zx this car's a 1991 a very early zx we found this in a garage in ross on y and it'd been parked up for 20 years but 21 years when we had it um it was parked up in 2002 old lady had it and uh, she passed away and it was left in the garage for the grandkids and they didn't want it uh, when it comes to the time for them to have it, they, they wasn't interested. So the car was sent to scrap. I had a friend who picked it up and he's like, are you interested in it? Because it's, it's too good to scrap and I know you like your classics. And that's how we ended up with the car. So here it is. What needs doing? Well, the boot's open. Um, and that's because the first big job to this car is to get the fuel tank out. Now, we did have it running yesterday. And I've done an entire video of it running, starting for the first time and everything, and the file corrupted last night. So I have got some footage of it running, and I'm going to put that in now to show you all. So it does run, um, but the problem is the fuel tank is what I'm told rusted for the inside. Now, when I did have the car at the yards, I was moving it every now and then just to work on the Fiat's. Um, I struggled to start it, it struggled idling, it, it, it didn't want to idle at all. And I put that down to fuel, and when I sold it, the guy told Anna when she got back in contact to buy it back. He told her that he'd been running it on a se separate tank because the original tank is completely um, done. So what we got to do is get the fuel tank out and confirm that. So my job today is actually removing the rear seat so we can unplug the sender so we can get under the car and remove the tank. Um, but like I said, window tint's gone. Uh, inside is pretty basic. Um, we're going to vax the car, obviously, get it all looking lovely and clean inside. Again, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but this is a navy blue interior, which is quite common on these cars. Um, I've seen two different actual body colours with the same interior, so I, I like that. It's a really nice blue, and as soon as we get some nice weather, we will take some photos. Um, rear door card has been taken off, because I guess in the window tint, they took the door cards off to do the glass. So that rear card's not put on properly, so I've got to do that. But that's not major. Also, the cluster's missing around the steering wheel. And the tape cassette, that's the original one. Now, I did have that working when I had it. Um, and I got code for it and everything. But for some reason, it won't allow me to put the code in now. So, not a great, great thing. But something I can get sorted. And the clock there needs sorting. Other than that, the car just needs a good clean. We're going to vats it, like I said. And the interiors, as it is, is really good. 
Um, I think it's 73,000 miles, but all the windows work, all the electrics, sunroof, that all works as it did when I sold it. Um, it does need a new door lock on the other side, a new barrel, because the key had been broken off in the door. Not sure why, but we got to sort that. Um, original wheel trims, which is fantastic. New plates, because the old plates are just terrible, and I'm going to be showing this car next year. So... You will go to all the local shows. Um, let's get the engine, uh, let's get the bonnet open and take a look under here. So it's a bit of a mess, but um, brand new battery, which is actually <laughs> for the 924, but needs must. Um, so what needs replacing? Well, I've already removed it down here, uh, the fuel pump. Fuel pump's not working. It works in there, it doesn't work, so I'm just going to replace it. Already ordered that part, so that'd be good. Get that one sorted. Um, and down here, it, it broke about when I had it, but that needs all tightening up. So the alternator needs tightening. Um, it's adjustable, which is good. Uh, reminds me of the um, Renault 5, actually, just adjusting that. Um, the actual engine, I don't know too much about the engine, but from what I've read up, it's a Peugeot Citroen engine. And um, it was used in the uh, 205, I think. But anyway, it's, it's a really good engine. It sounded great on video. Um, you will notice I, it's high revved. That's because to keep the car running, I had to be it in about 2,000 revs. So something's not great with that. Um, the choke's not working neither, so that needs sorting out. Um, also, the uh, brake reservoir here is just, yeah, that needs sorting. Um, I need a new lid for it as well. The lid's gone missing. Um, and the brake lines down there, they need sort of uh, both brake lines to the front. And it needs and brake on this side. No, actually, it might be the other side. It needs and brake that side. So we'll get that sorted. But because we got to remove the petrol tank, uh, you've got to remove the and brake cables anyway. So I've just got to replace both of them. And we'll probably replace the... Um, pads on the front i can't remember how good they were but when i sold this car this had all new tires on so all the tires are brand new um which is again fantastic because we know once we get these problems sorted we can drive it straight away and um yeah that's pretty much where we are that's everything i can think of apart from cosmetic bits like we'll get that dento i'm gonna try and sort the bonnet out and there's a few dings in the front of the bonnet this will need sorting. It's not an MOT failure, but that will get done. Um, other than that, yeah, that's that's pretty much where we are at with the car. Um, I do have to replace the area, or the area was missing, and I can remember that being missing. So that will get sorted. Um, there's nothing in the boot, really. It does need a spare wheel. It, it is missing its spare wheel. Exhaust is all good on this one. Um, other than that, that's... I think that's pretty much it with the car. It's, you know, I can't thank Hannah enough for buying it, buying it back for me um, because I did say a while back it'd be nice if I could get another ZX. And I have spoke to two people about potentially buying one um, off them. Um, and funny enough, they were both white. Um, but yeah, it's great. So this car, the plan is to get this all sorted by Christmas, which is got to be a quite tight because... I want to start work on this, and we got to get the um, Rover Streetwise sorted, which is pretty much ready to be done now. So that'll be running. We can move the Porsche out of the way. Uh, Porsche might go in the garage for a brief time until the next project comes along. Hence why the 911's possibly going, and the Yank. So that is where I am at with the Citroen ZX. It's um, it's a fantastic little car. So yeah, 73,000 miles. And I think I'm the second, no, I'd be the third owner now, but I was the second owner, so I'd be the fourth when I, um, when it all comes back through. Um, but it's only been the original owner, me, the guy we sold it to, and then back to me, so yeah, it's not too bad. And he only done about 800 miles, I think, on it, roughly about that. I haven't really checked. He, had, he was only using it for work, so. But yeah, there you go. So if you want to see more on this car, please remember to like and subscribe. Um, like I said, the plan is to get it sorted for Christmas, so if we get it sorted by Christmas, that'd be fantastic. It's just figuring out uh, about the fuel tank, which I'm going to start work on today, getting ready to remove it. 
So anyway, that's it from me. Thank you all. And please remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.